movieweb.com. Once upon a time. Does it always have to be once upon a time? There was a fisherman. He was pulling in his nets. Is she a mermaid? No. Is she a selkie then? What's a selkie? She comes out of the sea, lives on land. My name's Sarah Cusen. I've been sober about two years. This is where they all clap. Why didn't you see that in the movies? They go in here, sir. Is that illegal? No, but it's unusual. I stole some lady's clothes. I don't like this at all. They were for this girl I met. Thank you. So, what's the story? She sings to the fishes and he catches them. You bring me luck. That would be Selk. How long are you staying? Depends on you. It depends on me. You can stay forever. Um, like the film, but it seemed the entire time you're either wet, swimming, or, or hanging out in your underwear. Was it comfortable <laughs> to make this film? I mean, what was that like? Well, especially the underwear part was very comfortable. No. Um, you know, it was cold. I mean, it was a challenging shoot for, um, you know, from the physical aspect, it was quite... Um, tricky and, 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 and because the water was so cold I really had to kind of overcome some some boundaries that I thought I have, I mean I actually had, but I found out that you can actually, you know, you can uh, push yourself and, and achieve something that you didn't think you're able to, so it was interesting. Um, you're doing a lot of swimming in this film, mm. including some, some good dives. Right. Uh, were, you, were you normally a good swimmer or was there a lot of training involved? No, no, I'm, I mean I was okay swimmer, I am an okay swimmer, but um, I did have to get used to the, 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 the water, the cold of it, um, the coldness of it. So so I was there a week before and, and, and I did uh, do some early morning cold swims and uh, it helped a lot. And I would live, I say, that, you know, I didn't have any help. There were there was a stunt group that would teach me how to do it and, and train me and get me, you know, motivated. So, um, yeah, it was hard work. I'm a big fan of the director Neil Jordan's work. Can you talk about working with him and being cast in this movie? How'd you get the role? Sure. Um, I mean, I was very lucky. He saw a movie I've done a few years ago called Trade. Great film. And thank you. And he, um, you know, based on my performance, I believe he wanted me to uh, to at least beat him uh, and talk about the part. And we met in London. And a few days later, we had a little screen test in Dublin. Um, and that's it, and, and, and that's how it happened. So um, I was quite lucky. And, uh, you know, just working with him, it was quite surreal. I mean, I, I loved his work and I admired him so much. And, and to see him work on, um, on his script and as well the, the process of preparing for the shoot was great. We had some rehearsals and he would sit with us and, and change a few lines that would be more fitting for, for us actors that would be you know better for the part in our perception so um, yeah it, it was great it was great uh, great school as well school of you know work and, and working with uh, somebody with such a great experience and kind of learning from him it was, it was great um, this is a very intimate film I mean there's really your characters interactions between the Colin Farrell character and his daughter and that's mm -hmm. really this whole dynamic between this guy who's an alcoholic and his right. daughter who has the medical uh, problems talk about working with those two actors and particularly the little girl because that that whole thing curious and curious her just always rings in my bell she was so adorable <laughs> yes um, you know it was it was lovely it, it, it was lovely to to work with Allison that's the name of the little actress that played Annie um, we had to establish uh, a relation that would be believable for for the viewer that that they could like she she could actually be so um, interested about that water creature Undine and that Undine will find in her um, a purpose. You know, she in that relate that that relationship with a girl with a child was so unknown to her that um, she really she, at the beginning she was quite careful and scared of that um, of that girl but later on you know they kind of start to 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 coexist in that fairy tale that they were both both creating and Undine very much wanted to to believe that she is the creature that Annie believes her to be 